Hey everyone, welcome back to Terry Mater Gardens. Today we're going to be talking about the Blue Death Feigning Beetle. The Blue Death Feigning Beetle is a fascinating species native to the deserts of the southwestern United States, particularly in the Sonoran Desert and parts of northern Mexico. Their name comes from their unusual defense mechanism. When threatened, they play dead or feign death until the danger passes. One of the most remarkable features of this beetle is its blue color, which is actually a waxy coating that helps protect it from intense desert heat and UV rays. When the beetle is stressed or in a more humid environment, the blue color fades, revealing its true dark coloration underneath. The blue death feigning beetle is about one inch in length with a bumpy textured body covered in a striking powdery blue coating. This coating helps reflect sunlight, enabling the beetle to survive in scorching desert conditions. They have sturdy legs designed for walking on hot sand and their body is built to conserve moisture in the dry desert environment. In their natural environment, these beetles are often found in desert scrublands and rocky areas where they seek shelter under rocks or in crevices during the day to avoid extreme temperatures. They are nocturnal, becoming more active at night when the desert cools down, searching for food and water. The most iconic behavior of the blue death fainting beetle is its ability to play dead for long periods of time when it feels threatened. This behavior along with its thick waxy exoskeleton makes it highly resilient. As for their diet, these beetles are scavengers, feeding on dry plant material, seeds, and dead insects. In captivity, they are often fed dried dog food, fruits, and vegetables. Blue death fainting beetles are incredibly hardy and make popular pets for beginners. They thrive in a dry, well-ventilated enclosure, the substrate like sand or coconut fiber that mimics their natural desert environment. They don't need high humidity but appreciate temperatures between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Since they are peaceful and social, they can be housed with other beetles of the same species, as well as other compatible desert beetles like darkling beetles. These beetles are mainly kept as exotic pecs due to their unique appearance and low maintenance care. They are non-aggressive and can be handled safely, making them great for educational purposes and displays. However, it's important to avoid high humidity in their enclosure, as it can cause their waxy coating to wear off, which might stress the beetles. That concludes our guide on the Blue Death Feigning Beetle. These beetles are not only tough survivors of the desert, but also fascinating creatures to absorb. With their striking blue color and quirky death feigning behavior, if you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more wildlife insights and pet care tips.